Okay, let's take a look at part B of question 5. The diagram below shows a frequency polygon of the number of goals scored by a football team in 25 matches. So we have number of goals here. and uh, number of matches it says 25 matches let's see what where this 25 possibly could come from from the diagram 5 and 7 that's that's what 12 and 3 15 and 3 18 and 4 that's 22 2 more 23 24 and 1 25 so if you add up these numbers at the vertices of the frequency polygon you get the 25 and then you have the number of goals scored now what does it say complete the following table using the information in the diagram so let's see, 5 scored, 5 matches, 0 were scored, so you have 5 and 0 here, okay. In 7 matches you have, you have 1 goal each, so it's 7 matches, 1 goal each. This is saying, in 3 matches you had 3 goals, so you have 3, 3, 4, 4 here means four matches four goals you can see that four matches four goals one six in one match six goals all right so you must complete this table so in how many matches did you have two goals so two goals we have two situations here three matches two goals three matches three goals now this three matches and this two goals coincide so it's three matches for two goals so right here will be a three and then five goals how many matches you did you have five goals so in two matches five goals so from two going across you have you meet up here on the polygon then going down you have five goals so two matches five goals so you should have a uh, you should have a two right here good All right. Now that's part one. Let's see what part two says. What is the modal number of goals scored by the team? Let me get this part. No modal number of goals scored by the team. Let me paste it here. Let's see number of goals. Now the modal number of goals scored by the team now you're not going to just look at this table directly and get it All right remember here five matches no goals it means that no goals were scored here 5 by 0 is 0. 7 matches, 1 goal. And by the way, the modal number of goals will be, it means it, the largest number of goals. So, in 7 matches, 1 goal. So, the total number of goals here is 7, 1, 7. 3 matches, 2 goals. Means 3, 2, 6. 
So you have one match, two goals, another match, two, that's four so far. And a third match, another two, that's six so far. So it's two, three, six. Here, three by three is nine, going from the same argument. Four by four is 16. Five by two is 10, six, one, six. So the modal number of matches here is not six, as would appear from the table itself, right? It is 16. So the modal number of matches is six. Scored by the team is 16. All right? No. That's part two. What does part three say? Uh, part three of this question. All right. Determine the median number of goals scored by the team. The median number of goals. Let me open and then copy and paste. So we're looking at the median number of goals scored by that team. Here. Let me paste it here. Now. Remember what the median means. It means the number that falls at the center of the distribution after you've put the values in order. Whichever value is at the center of the distribution when you put them in order, whether ascending or descending order. If there's an even number, then two of them will fall at the center, so you just average those two. Now the median number of goals scored by the team. What we're going to have to do, this, this is the number of goals scored by the team. You know. Don't use this. Don't use these values that you see in the table itself. Right? Don't do that. You're going to use these values that you have down here because what this means you know it could have been a case where you have number of goals scored before you organize them like that you have zero one zero three four five one one zero organized like that are not organized just raw data then when you put them together you notice that there were five zeros so you put five and zero here there were seven ones there were three twos so you put them like this right so don't use these numbers in the table what you're going to use are the numbers that appear here after multiplying them now you need to organize these in order going to put them in ascending order you have zero what's the next higher the next highest number at six then you have another six then seven no eight there's a nine uh, then there's a ten the next highest number is sixteen how many do we have one two three four five six seven here one two three four five six seven all right so nothing was left out now there are seven so you have three to the left three to the right and seven in the middle so the median number of goals is seven so that that's the median number of goals scored by the team all right now let's continue we are asked to calculate the mean number of goals scored by the team. That's part four. The mean number of goals scored by the team. Let me paste that somewhere. All right. Now, I don't think we're going to need this. Let's us do some clearing up and 
make some space and to just clear these things up I can erase some of these um, markings from the board and put this up here all right now the mean number of goals scored by the team you know that the mean sometimes referred to as bar x is when you add up all the values and divide by the number of values in this case it would be the frequency times x f x over the number of items frequency if you look in some books you'll see something like this f x over f that means the number of them multiplied by the value and oh the sum of f and then after all of that you find out what's the total number the frequency and divide by that so what you have is the sum of all the values divided by the number of values now what is the num first of all the sum of all the values the f times x was already done when you had said 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 7 times 1 at least partly done already 7 times 1 is 7 3 times 2 is 6 you're going to need to find out the total number of goals scored so 5 from 0 matches that's 0 this would be the sum of I didn't remember the sum of fx over the sum of f right nice so you're going to have 5 times 0 is 0 so in 5 matches there were no goals that's 0 plus 7 times 1 is 7 7 matches there was one goal so that's a total of 7 there plus in 3 matches 2 goals so 6 goals were scored there 6 plus 3 matches so 3 goals each so that's a total of 9 goals plus 4 matches so 4 goals scored that's a total of 16 goals plus 2 matches so 5 goals that's 10 plus 1 match so 6 goals scored that's 6 then you add them all up alright I'm just going to use a calculator here could do it by hand though so that's 0 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 16 plus 10 plus 6 and I get 54 all right so there were a total of 54 54 goals scored goals scored now that will divi be divided by so this is the total number the total number of goals scored all right now you're looking at an average or a mean which say which really is saying what's the average number of goals per match so this is total number of goals what's the average number of goals per match for each match so you're going to have a total number of matches here the total number of matches 
it's 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. All right. Total number of matches played. So in this case, 5 and 7. Let's look at 7 and 3 is 10 and 5, 15. 16, 17, 18. Plus 4, that's 18 and 4. is 22 and 2, 24 and 1, 25. All right. So adding them up like that gives you 25 is equal to then you see what is 54 over 25 so 54 over 25 is equal to 2.16 2.16 so the mean here is 2.16 goes per match all right so remember now this particular mean comes from the fact that you have number of matches multiplied by number of goals scored then add them up to find the total number of goals that were scored then divide them by the number of matches because in this case it could have been for example seven seven matches one goal scored uh, one, 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 one. that's seven three matches saw so two goals scored that's two 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 three matches three goals scored and so on the total number of goals scored be one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one that's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two and twenty two and adding them up totaling up everything if you have the time would give you would give you fifty four so that's fifty four all right divided by how many matches were played one match two match three match four match five match six match seven match matches eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and so on so you add up the total here to find the number of matches so you get 25 so if you did not have this table organized and you had just raw data that would have, that's what you'd have to go through so you can match what you have here in the raw data a lot more work though to what was done here so it's important that you understand the principle behind what's happening here and this particular formula to what would have happened in the raw data all right so in this case total the, the average is 2.16 i wanted to understand um the principle behind what is done here particularly if you are studying are, are going to study to be a mathematics or a science teacher are you going to study something in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, where you would need a higher level of understanding of mathematics than most people would need. All right, so it's important that you understand why you do what you do instead of just um, doing something to pass the exam. You should have a depth of understanding behind the mathematics. So, if you didn't get this properly first time, go through it again and do it again. Do, do the entire question again on your own.